you must enter on fair entry at least one class per horse per exhibitor by July 1. So if you have more than one horse, you need to have at least one class entered for each horse. If siblings are sharing the same horse, both siblings must have a class entered in fair entry with that horse. Don't worry if you don't have everything signed up for. You can add or scratch classes at fair as long as you have at least one class entered with that horse. You should have gotten an email earlier this week from the Extension Office with fair entry instructions. If you scroll to the bottom of that email, there are three attachments. So be sure to open those attachments, especially the one with the step-by-step -step directions. This will help you a lot, especially if you are new at navigating the fair entry system. Don't wait until the last minute. It takes a while, especially if you're showing in a lot of classes or you have a lot of projects to add. You will need to use the fair entry system for any class you're showing with your horses or other animals, but then any other building projects as well. On the next few slides, we have some screenshots. This is the attachment that I was talking about um, with the step-by-step -step instructions. So you'll log in to the johnsoncountyindiana.fairentry.com using your normal 4-H online username and password. So you'll click that green button, sign in, and then you click log in. It'll take you to the welcome screen where you need to click the green box to begin your registration. Once you do that, you can answer some questions. You'll go to the individual exhibitor tab. You'll do this for each 4-H member in your family. You click on the dot next to the name of the 4 h -er you'd like to register and then click continue. Do not create any exhibitors from scratch. That's an option down at the bottom. But if you do that, it will not sync to your 4-H online profile and you won't be able to add any exhibits for those projects. Answer any of the required questions, make any corrections that you need to, and then click continue. You'll be taken back to the exhibitor information page where you'll just click on continue to entries. On the entries tab, you'll click on the green add an entry box, and then you'll click on select next to the department you would like to enter. You'll find horse and pony, and then the subcategory, you'll either click on English or Western or contesting, depending on what classes you are adding. Okay, you'll make sure you have it all correct. Click to the, the green dot next to the 4-H club you belong to and then click continue. Um, you won't have to do this next step for horse and pony where you enter a description of your exhibit. Those would be for like building projects. Um, but you can next go to add another entry or add another entry in this division. You want to make sure that you get everything added before you click submit. Because once you click submit, it goes to the extension office and they have to approve it before you can add any more. So you don't wanna just add one class and then click submit because you'll have to wait for them to hit approve before you can go back and add anything else. So to register an animal entry, which you will for horse and pony, you select the white box that says add an animal and it will pull this information from the horses that you registered by May 15th and 4-H online. So you'll click that box. Another box will pop up. You want to choose an existing animal box because that will pull up what you have entered. It'll give you your choices of animals there. Check all that the animal information is correct. You'll be able to select the classes. You do not have to add payment. That's just a formality in the system, but it does not cost anything to do your entries. You can confirm your entries one last time, and then you will click on the green submit button to submit your entries. You should receive a message that says thanks, and you will get an email from Fair Entry.